Today is Friday, September 21st, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Emily Haugen. St. Thomas has a brand new coffee shop in an old location. Stax Cafe, which opened August 22nd, replaced Coffee Benet on the first floor of O'Shaughnessy Frey Library. Along with coffee drinks, Stax offers a variety of fresh baked goods, salads, sandwiches, and snacks. Stax allows for students to use flex dollars and is open from 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Check Tommy Media for the full story. Severe storms hit Minnesota last night leaving homes, propane tanks, and planes at a municipal airport damaged. The Star Tribune reports, reports that possible tornado touchdowns occurred in Faribault and Waterville, south of Minneapolis. The Rice County Sheriff's Office said several small planes parked at Faribault Municipal Airport were damaged when high winds tossed them around. Xcel Energy reported thousands of power failures across the Twin Cities and in communities to the south. Over 100 people are dead after a ferry capsized and sank on Lake Victoria, Tanzania, Tanzania State Radio reported Friday. While a second day of rescue efforts raced the setting sun, accidents are often reported on the large freshwater lake surrounded by Tanzania, Kenya, and Uganda. Some of the deadliest have occurred in Tanzania, where passenger boats are often said to be old and in poor condition. A classroom in Brady Educational Center sustained water damage around 7 p.m. last night after its ceiling leaked due to heavy rainfall. Check Tommy Media for the full story. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Emily Haugen.